Hey, this is Blake's Take, where I unpack customer experience in three minutes or less. Today, I want to explain why you should stop trying to be like Apple. It's hard to not want to look like Apple. They have beautiful products. Their stores are absolutely wonderful. And pretty much everything about everything that they do is impeccable. But here's the thing. So many brands are trying to actually just replicate exactly what Apple does. And I do like Microsoft, but if, you, if you've walked next to a Microsoft store and looked inside, hey, guess what? It looks exactly like an Apple store. There are many phones and uh, tablets that have come out on the market that look exactly like Apple products. To me, this is a very negative uh, habit. There is a lot to learn from Apple, but you don't have to copy what they do to learn from them. And that, go that goes for their marketing and customer service as well. It's not just copying their products and their store. So let's talk about a couple things you can learn from the Apple strategy. To start, you can ignore your critics. By ignoring your critics, you'll stick to your guns and you'll know exactly what you stand for and have a clear set of values at your company. These values will trickle down into the way people work, into your products, into your services, into the overall experience that customers have with your brand. The next thing you can do is focus on the features and benefits of that product. Apple made all of their products so incredible to use that the price is really a no-brainer. I'm gonna pay more for my iPhone because I can't get those features and benefits anywhere else. So they can charge a premium price because they've created an experience that is unmatched and unparalleled. They've also successfully built a tribe. People are Apple fanatics. They will line up for hours and hours during a announcement of a new product. And they have a very loyal following, people who blog distinctly about Apple, people who talk about Apple products, Apple rumors, Apple marketing. So they've created such a loyal tribe, uh, partially because of their products and also for what they stand for. Lastly, that experience, they've created such a killer experience in everything that they do in all of their marketing that they have a really kind of perfect reputation uh, and they're very careful about everything they do from announcements to strategies um, and even uh, recently with actually taking a more vulnerable position by listening to Taylor Swift who wrote uh, wrote Apple a letter about their iTunes strategy and took a different position they had, than they had originally launched with in responding to this influencer. So you can see that this brand uh, does stick to their guns, but they're also versatile and they're willing to pivot when, when it's the right time. So those are my tips on what you can take away from Apple's strategy. I would not copy anything that Apple or these other great companies are doing because you really need to find your own voice, your own set of values, your own features that make you and your product special. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also my iTunes page at themoderncustomer.com uh, and also my website. Thank you.